the geometry of molecules, the valence shell electron pair repulsion model, or BFEPR, assumes that repulsions between electron pairs causes them to remain as far apart as possible. The geometry that the molecule ultimately adopts minimizes the repulsion between electron pairs. Click on one of the buttons to compare the geometries of these molecules. Consider the Lewis structures of phosphorus pentafluoride, PCL5, sulfur tetrafluoride, SF4, fluorine trifluoride, CLF3, and xenon difluoride, XEF2. Counting the number of BSEPR pairs of electrons around the central atom of each molecule, we find five BSEPR pairs. Don't forget to count lone pairs. The electron pair arrangement that minimizes repulsion for five pairs of electrons is trigonal bipyramidal. The angle between electron pairs and the equatorial plane is 120 degrees. The angle between an axial electron pair and an equatorial pair is 90 degrees. The molecular geometry is the arrangement of the central atom and the atoms bonded directly to it. In PCL5, all five electron pairs around phosphorus are bonding pairs. The molecular geometry is trigonal bipyramidal with bond angles of 120 degrees and 90 degrees. In SF4, there are four bonding pairs of electrons and one lone pair. Lone pairs in a trigonal bipyramidal electron pair arrangement will occupy equatorial positions rather than axial positions. In SF4, if the lone pair is equatorial, there are two bonding pairs at 120 degrees and two more at 90 degrees. On the other hand, if the lone pair were in an axial position, there would be three bonding pairs at 90 degrees and one pair at 180 degrees. The repulsions are smaller if the lone pair is in the equatorial position. The molecular geometry, that is the arrangement of the sulfur and four fluorine atoms, is a distorted tetrahedron or seesaw. Due to the lone pair, the sulfur-fluorine bonds are pushed together, and the bond angle in the equatorial plane is less than the typical 120-degree angle. In CLF3, there are three bonding pairs of electrons and two lone pairs. The lone pairs occupy equatorial positions. The molecular geometry, that is the arrangement of the fluorine and three fluorine atoms, is T-shaped. Due to the lone pairs, the fluorine-fluorine bonds are pushed together, and the fluorine-fluorine-fluorine bond angles are slightly less than 90 degrees. XEF2, there are two bonding pairs and three lone pairs. The lone pairs occupy the three equatorial positions. The molecular geometry, that is the arrangement of the xenon and the two fluorine atoms, is linear. The fluorine-xenon-fluorine bond angle is 180 degrees. 